Fakhri. He's been an international speaker and many other things, a coach, and has been public speaking since the age of 10. So we have with us the disruptor or the disrupted, Ahmad Fakhri, all yours. Death has been a very powerful disruptor and a powerful reminder. How many of us lost our friends, colleagues, and loved ones during the COVID pandemic? Raise your hand. It really touches us. The question that I always ask, we went through that difficult moment, but did we seize the opportunity? Not capidium, but capidium moment. Because we want to seize the moment because the disruptor has disrupted our life. But do we take that opportunity? Do we grab that opportunity to make a difference? I was truly inspired by one of the medieval polymers. The disruptor is not like you, who is an interrupter, <laughs> which I will define it later, but it's okay as long none of us is a corrupter. <laughs> this polymer, which is equivalent to Leonardo da Vinci, his name is Imam Ibn Hajar Asqalani. He's a poet, he's a judge, he's a trader, he's a successful entrepreneur. But what he did during the Black Death, the bubonic plague that defined by the European as the Black Death, not one but two of his daughters were killed by this virus. Now, do you wallow in sorrow just like some of us who have lost our friends, which happened to me yesterday? And the question to us is, when you are disrupted by a disruptor, are you going to make a difference and disrupt others? Because this Ibn Hajar, he wrote a 12-volume encyclopedia and include the learnings, what he called the chapter known as the merit of the plague to share to the world how, what we should be doing because when our life got disrupted, we have a great opportunity to disrupt others. Many of you would have known these big giant companies now, although they were unknown before. And, and what do you think in common do they have? Anyone? Technology. They got technology? They are disruptors? Yes. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. They don't have any assets. That's right. Because if you look at Airbnb, it took 100 years for Hilton to create 776,000 letable rooms. And yet, this company took two years to create 2 million rentable rooms. That's what. ABNB did <laughs> because these founders just like you and me they seized the moment the first one what he did was they were late for their night conference just like we did yesterday walking in the streets under the rain and then somebody said why don't we grab a taxi I wish someone can give us a ride by just a phone call that's how Uber did People attending conference and there's no hotel. And these two founders bought several air beds, advertised for you to rent their air beds and tomorrow provide cereal oatmeal for breakfast. Airbnb was born. And Netflix has really changed the way you and I watch TV. Ladies and gentlemen, what they did was at every of those moments, they seized the opportunity. They took the opportunity because now is the moment. 
I came back from my cross posting and headed the regional HR manager in this newly Asian hub IT by Shell International. There were two other hubs, one in Manchester and the other one in Houston. One year after the manpower raised to about close to a thousand people, the two hubs complained to me. He said, Ahmad, how come the Malaysian and the Asian are not talking? They are not expressing themselves. They are not even confident to speak. Now, do I tell them that it's our education system? It's our prime minister? Or it's because we managed not to get good A in English, like Terry said just now? I felt that the bug stops here. You can't change the system, but you definitely can change something there. And for the first time in Cyber Jaya, I had to build the first Toastmasters Club so that then I can give the voice to the geeky geeks and the IT folks there so that their voice can be heard. And that's what I realized. For all of us to gain that confidence is for us to be able to express ourselves, articulate our thoughts, and be able to convince and influence others. That club still exists 20 years since I left the organization. And soon I realized when I start to give people the confidence is that the first thing people want to do is how and what is it that you can disrupt. And this is where to answer that as a positive disruptors, the professor of Harvard, Clay, Clayton Christensen, says that you got to start small, down at the simple application bottom on the market. What it means is that if you know with your expertise, you start small. And then from there on, you build on upon it rigorously, relentlessly, and pursue beyond the wildest dream of what it will happen several years later. So he gave a warning to big corporate organization. I'm just giving a warning to you as individual that you don't really think about you're going to impact the world yet. Just impact the people that you feel need and can have the great opportunity of sharing your own knowledge and expertise. That's the brand that we want. That's the differentiation that we want. And one of the things that when I wanted to give people that confidence is to teach them to speak. And from my 50 years experience, what I realized is, is that is the way how we craft our speech. Tell me now, how do you craft your speech? Give me the structure now. First, you do what? Opening. Opening. Content. Body, content. Body. And conclusion. Now, that was all the things that I Google, all the books that I've read, and all the learned speakers' expertise, not from this organization, of course. It's because that it was taught the way our English teacher has done to us. I am debunking a simple process of disrupting the way we are going to craft our speech because our English teacher is teaching us how to craft an essay. You and I need to craft a speech. And therefore, I've decided that the book that I've just launched four months ago sold 400 pieces because I use reverse engineering technique. I want to impact all of you when you start crafting and stand as a keynote of a speaker is for you to start crafting from the conclusion, from the takeaway message, from the nuggets that you are going to impact and others to live to make it a memorable one. I'm hoping that this small, simple application combined with the other techniques like polishing, uh, craft, uh, designing the airplane while it's flying, building upon all the simple elements in public speaking, I would be able to call upon each and every individual to stand up, to voice their opinion, 
to sell their ideas because that is the currency of the future. Ladies and gentlemen, each and every one of you have your unique talent and ability to create your own expertise. Start small now because seize the opportunity by grabbing it and that opportunity will affirm your legacy. Over to you now. All right, thank you very much once again.